Hi everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel, welcome back to the kitchen and welcome to a brand new accessory. Now, it's not mine. I've momentarily stolen an air fryer from my mum because my mum got one for Christmas and when I was down last, I nabbed it. So I now have mum's air fryer. I thought it'd be fun to test some of the viral air fryer recipes that I've seen floating around. They always look delicious, they always look amazing, and I've always wanted to try some. So we now have an air fryer. Now, I'm not super clued up on air fryers. I don't fully know the difference between an air fryer, an oven, and a frying pan, if I'm honest. I mean, okay, okay. I know the difference between a frying pan and an oven, but I feel like this is kind of in the middle because I thought initially, I thought initially air fryers weren't meant to use oil, but then in a lot of recipes, people are like, oh, put some oil on them. So then I'm like, but then what's the difference between that and the oven? And the only thing I've heard is that it's a little bit quicker and a little bit crispier. So if anyone has any extra knowledge, please let me know down below. And in the meantime, we're gonna try some recipes. So I have a cookie recipe. I have a baby bell coated in Doritos recipe. Oh, I'm gonna try the um, pasta crisps that I tried in the oven and they failed. So if they do work in the air fryer, there is clearly a difference because they failed in the oven. We're gonna try some pasta crisps and I think there was something else. But before we do start cooking in the air fryer, I want to talk to you about the deodorant that I am obsessed with and have been obsessed with for about three months now, Wild. So if you haven't heard of Wild before, they are a deodorant company that specialize in plastic-free natural deodorants that are not only kind to the environment, but also kind to your skin. I personally love this deodorant because a little while ago now, I went aluminum free. We're talking maybe a year or so. And I went through so many different deodorants looking for one I loved and I did not find one until Wild. I genuinely love this deodorant so, so much. And if you don't trust me, they do have over 11,000 five-star reviews on Trustpilot. So I'm just saying, it's a blooming good deodorant. And if you stick around, I do have a discount code for you. So when you sign up to Wild, you get to choose your own carry case. And you can, if you choose, have it customized with your name. And then once you've chosen your case, you get to choose your refill scents. And this time I went for pomegranate and pink peppercorn, which is the one that is inside my case already. Jasmine and mandarin blossom. And then my absolute favorite scent. I, oh my gosh, fresh cotton and sea salt. It smells so freaking good. I even got it in the little travel version. Look how cute this is. A teeny mini lipstick sized deodorant for your handbag, even if you've got a Diddy handbag. Plus at the moment they have a limited edition case, which is inspired by the 70s. It's a retro swirl case. And they also have a honeysuckle and lemon scent, which sounds amazing. So if you do want to go ahead and get your own wild deodorant, which I highly, highly recommend, then I will have a link in my description. Pop over to the website, use the code JazzyWild to get 20% off all of their products. I just, I don't know why you wouldn't. They smell amazing, they work, they're good for the environment, they're good for your skin. I just, and 20% off also. So I will have a link, like I said, use my code and let me know how it goes. So, mum did not provide me with instructions, but I've done a quick Google and it doesn't look like I need to preheat this, which is interesting. I really thought I did. It, it doesn't say anywhere that I do, so I could be wrong, but we're gonna try this anyway. Apparently I just put it onto air fry, set the temperature and the time and just click go. So the first thing we're gonna make, I'm gonna pull it up on my phone, breakfast cookies, which sound amazing. So I need coconut oil, banana, chocolate chips, cinnamon, baking powder, oats. Baking powder and oats, okay. Half a cup of oats. So I'm gonna go for one. Oh yeah, two. Two quarter cups equals one half cup. Well done, Jasmine. Uh-oh, have not melted this. Oh, some of it's kind of melted. Do we think we could get a tablespoon? I do not. That'll do, right? If I just do it with my finger. It's not quite melted, but I mean, that's a tablespoon. Just got grub all over my hands now. Tablespoon of milk. Sprinkle of cinnamon. What counts as a sprinkle of cinnamon? I'm gonna say that's a sprinkle. We're gonna go for that. And then a handful of chocolate chips. I can do that. I'm gonna mash this banana first into this, which isn't looking very liquidy. 
seems pretty good. We have our mixture all nicely mixed together. I'm gonna get a little bit of baking paper. And we're going 360 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Okay, Google, what's 360 Fahrenheit in degrees Celsius? 360 degrees Fahrenheit is equivalent to 182.222 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's 180 degrees Celsius. She says to do that for 10 minutes. I'm gonna put the chocolate chips in the top. This is how my breakfast cookie's looking. I'm just gonna put some of these in there. And then apparently it's just 10 minutes, off we go. I actually don't know how I do the time. Oh, this machine is very easy to use. Maybe I want an air fryer. That seems really quite easy. I haven't tried any of the food out of it yet but it seems quite easy. I'm really hoping you can still hear me okay with this making a little bit of racket. It is a little bit noisy. However, we're moving on to the next recipe, which is potatoes. And I'm just gonna chop these up. Apparently you season them with all of this stuff, put them in the air fryer. Seems too easy. Cayenne, pepper, parsley. Do we have any parsley? I don't think we have parsley. Oh no. Four white potatoes, I'm just gonna do two, and then a mix of garlic, parsley, we don't have parsley, cayenne pepper, salt and pepper, baking powder, arrowroot starch, and avocado oil. I'm gonna use normal oil. Arrowroot starch, I think is the same as corn flour. So I'm gonna substitute, and fingers crossed I know what I'm talking about. Look at me with my cute label jar. Look, it says corn flour on there and everything. I feel pretty good right now. That does smell amazing. It, it smells good. Actually, am I supposed to check on it? If I open the drawer, will it stop cooking? I'm actually not too sure. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna trust the process. I'm not gonna open it, I'm gonna trust it. I'm gonna put these into a bowl and we're gonna season. I'm just gonna wing it with measurements. Um, I'm more intrigued by the fluffiness. There's like no oil left in there. One second. I'm gonna go for that much. I'm gonna go for that much. I'm gonna go for that much. <laughs> I am purely winging this. And then some pepper. I give these a mix. I don't really think I've done a good job of mixing these. Some of them have all of the mix on them and some of them are pretty plain. And my question is, do I put baking paper under them? It doesn't look like it. No, I'm just putting them straight into the drawer. They're going in. Spread them out nicely. I'm gonna save these ones just because that feels like quite a nice even spread. I don't wanna have them too crowded. It just says 15 minutes in the air fryer, so I'm gonna just put them in for whatever this sets the temperature at. I'm guessing I click number two and I'm just praying that it doesn't turn off number one. Okay. We're gonna air fry for 15 minutes. Did she say, did she say 15 minutes? 15 minutes. This is too easy. This machine is too easy. We have 10 seconds and then our cookies are ready. And I'm so excited for cookies. The reveal. It's quite a large cookie. <laughs> it's pretty large. For some reason, the chocolate chips seem to be burnt and not melted which is very interesting. But this is what the cookie looks like. It looks pretty tasty. The only thing I don't love is the fact that the chocolate chips are a little bit burnt. That's not the best. I'm just gonna dig in with a little spoon around here. Bottoms up. Mm. Oh, it's pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. Really, really hot. Review, very, very easy to make. Very easy to make. Very, very easy to cook. In fact, there's not even any cleanup required. That is genius. Now, in terms of actual cookie, you can't really pick it up. It's not fully, fully cooked. If that makes sense, like, okay, it's cooked, it's hot, but you can't pick it up like a normal cookie. It's sort of, well, I guess you can a, a little bit, but it's very, very crumbly. It's very soft. It's very delicious. It tastes kind of like a banana muffin. That's 
really tasty. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. It tastes kind of like a banana muffin slash banana bread. It's quite moist and it does have a little bit of a gooey texture. But unfortunately for me, my chocolate chips sort of burnt on the top and I'm not loving the burnt taste. But I feel maybe use different chocolate chips, might be a little bit better. Maybe spread the recipe out a little bit more, it might cook better. I'm gonna pull this out to check it because I don't know if they're too hot and maybe burning. So I'm hoping that it just pauses it if I open this. Just paused it. They're looking good. I might give them a little rumble. I mean, this thing's kind of great. I feel like I started this video not understanding the obsession with an air fryer. I'm slowly getting there because it's a little genius, isn't it? Right, my potatoes are ready. I've also, in the meantime, put on some pasta to make pasta, like pasta crisps. But also, I just quickly Googled making the pasta crisps and it said preheat your air fryer. So apparently air fryers do require preheating. And then I looked up the Ninja how to preheat and it said, just turn it on for roughly two to three minutes. I didn't do that. So maybe the cookie would have come out better if it had two minutes to preheat. I'm not too sure, but the potatoes are done. So we're gonna worry about that for now. Let's see how they look. <gasps> Are you kidding? <gasps> they look amazing, but, and it's a big but, are they cooked in the middle? Hello. Hello. You wanna come try some of my food? Nick's home. I think we need to buy an air fryer. <laughs> Is it really good? Mmm. Oh, what else you got me? That's literally potatoes into a bowl, tossed around with some flavoring. How long does it take? 10 minutes. Should try some of this cookie? What? It's banana cookie. Oh, that's some good stuff. I think I may be converted to the air fryer life. And I see, I see why people like air fryers. It seems, maybe it's just these two recipes, but it seems like you shove stuff in and magic happens. The next recipe I'm going to be trying is pasta crisps. So basically turning pasta into little crisps in the air fryer. Now, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you saw it, but I did a vlog it was quite a while ago now. I did another vlog and I tried to make pasta crisps, but I put them in the oven because we don't have an air fryer and they didn't work. They were super hard to chomp down on. They were really, really bad. So we're going to see how well this goes. Just went to use our grated cheese. Guess what? The pot's empty. Not running low, empty. Anybody want to guess who put this back in the cupboard after they'd finished it? ta -da! Cook in preheated air fryer for five minutes. <laughs> I've broken it, I don't know what I've done wrong. There we go. Oh, how do you turn number one off? I have an issue. I don't know how to turn number one off. What's happening? I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna eat a piece of pasta. But for the next one, we're gonna be covering baby bells in Dorito crumbs. It looks amazing. The cheese looks all melty. These aren't Doritos Flame and Hot because I couldn't find them, but these crisps are so tasty. They are so tasty. So this does happen to be the air fryer recipe I'm most excited for. So you need Doritos and Baby Bell. So if you've ever done like breaded chicken or anything, very similar, gonna use cheese instead. And instead of breadcrumbs, Doritos. So actually I also need to crush some of these into a bowl. Where is my pestle and mortar? I think I'm just gonna pestle and mortar it just for ease because I'm not gonna make too many and I can't be bothered to wash the food processor. So I'm just gonna pestle and mortar it. That was even quicker than I expected. That was pretty genius actually. They're too good. I forgot to check the pasta crisps. I think they're done. And by done, I mean a little tad burnt. They look like this. Smidgen overcooked, I think. I'm gonna leave this on the side for two seconds to cool. Let me just triple check this video to make sure that I'm doing this right. So she's going, baby bell, flour, egg, Dorito, egg, Dorito. How long are you putting these things in the air fry for? You're not telling me anything, you're gatekeeping. Flour, egg, Dorito, egg, Dorito. Oh, 
160 for six minutes, okay. Oh, let's try the pasta crisp. I don't like it. Not a big fan of those. I just wouldn't choose to eat them. I'd rather a bowl of hot pasta than cooking the pasta and then putting it in the air fryer and having half-hearted crisps. Pasta crisps, I don't think are for me, apart from the ZZ ones. Oh my goodness, if you've been to ZZ and they give you those crisps that they put on the table, those, those are good. I don't know how much you can see. You can't see very much at all. We're going flour, floured baby bell, into the egg, into the egg, into the Doritos, back into the egg, and then back into the Doritos. So we've got that and I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer. Okay, <laughs> so my camera died. I put them on for six minutes at 160. My camera died. I ran outside to film something. I forgot that they were on. They've got 12 seconds left. We're hoping for good things here. They look, oh, oh, they smell amazing. This is what they are looking like. Now in the video, she pulled it apart with her hands. I don't feel confident enough to touch it with my hands. So I think I might double tongue it. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. <gasps> it looks so good. It smells so good. I'm very excited to bite into this. Okay, beware. My face may be an expression of pain. This is quite hot, but I really want to tuck in. It's great. Mm -hmm. To the girl who came up with this recipe, thank you. This is delicious. Oh my gosh. My skin is gonna hate me because it's cheese, but my heart is so happy. <laughs> that is so tasty. Let's rate. Cookie, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. 10 out of 10 for ease. Seven out of 10, I think, for taste. It was yummy, like it was tasty but I'm not gonna put it right up there. Little roast potatoes, very, very easy, a little bit more messy than this one. I do not have to clean the air fryer, so a little bit more inconvenient, but very, very quick and very, very tasty. So I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. Pasta crisps, I think I'm gonna give those like a five out of 10, and they weren't worth the effort. I don't think this delectable delight. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. A little bit of prep. I mean, I have used three bowls for the egg, the flour and the coating, um, but they taste absolutely incredible. This has got to be my favorite. Then the cookie, then the potatoes, then the crisps. This was absolutely delicious. Okay, that is it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you have any other air fryer recipes you want me to test. Also, don't forget I have a link in my description to get your own wild deodorant for 20% off using my code JazzyWild. Highly, highly recommend. I hope you did enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.